Hey everyone, it's Elaine, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to the Crafty Goals with Amalia Collaborative. This month, we are today, we will be going over what we accomplished last month. So make sure you check out the other collabors that I have listed down below, all right? And if you want to follow along or you want to participate, just make sure that you use the hashtag Crafty Goals with Amalia. And if you want to follow along with me, use half, excuse me, hashtag Crafty Goals with Elaine. So let's get on with it. First thing is the key word that she gave us this month is prepare. Now that's a pretty significant word for me this month because I have been preparing for a retreat that I am putting together the first week of I mean of August, which is just next week. Um, and yeah, it's kind of been a situation with the way the world is today. So fingers crossed that everything is going to work out. Hold on a second, my darn computer. It, it wants to do an update right now, of course. So trying to see if I can get that out of here. Alrighty, sorry about that, but sometimes I think computers have a mind of their own. So prepare is the word, and you know, also since I've gotten this new, you know, art studio and everything, I'm constantly preparing and trying to like set up stations and. I, you know, you've seen my two wire racks that I have, trying to find where things are on there, make it easier to go right to it. I know it's at least in that spot, and I don't have to dig out to get to that rack, but I still, I, I still am preparing, all right? So we know that I got my studio finished, yippee yay yay Now, I want you to go back and watch the video that I just did. Let me tell you a little thing. I found out that my camera right here, the sound was not on with my camera. It was on for the laptop. So my videos may not be of the best quality on the voice. I apologize about that. I didn't realize it until one of my good buddies told me yesterday, you might want to check out your sound. Well, now I see what the problem was. But anyway, go and check out that video, and you're going to see that I have named the She Shed. I'm tickled with it, too. And I'll tell you a little story in there of how it got its name. Timely Complete Project Started. I am going to give myself a check and a check on continue to use what I have. And let me tell you what I did last month. I, I showed you my napkin swap, which is probably one of the videos that the sound was not the best on. But I finished my napkin swap, sent it off, got my napkins back, check, 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 used what I had, had a nice swab, got some new napkins, check, check, check. Next thing I did was a broom ride swap, which is 31 cards geared around fall or Halloween. And you do 31, you send them to a hostess, and then she sorts them with the other 30 people, and then you get. 31 cards back. So I have set mine in. The thing about that broom ride swap is I used what I had. Normally, when I do that many ATC cards, I kind of line them up, do a assembly line. And this time I didn't. I don't think any two cards were the same. Now I have a video coming up so you can see what my cards look like. Now, normally I, I do what I say, what I sent, and then what is returned back to me. But because this one is so big and we have to wait so long, she had to have the cards by the end of the month, I think it was, or the first week in August. And that gives her time to get them and to sort them without being rushed and then get them back to us when October starts. So I'll be putting up a video shortly of what I of what I did okay so I'm pretty proud of that I did not buy one solitary thing that was Halloween or fall for those cards I used what I have 
Stay organized. Look at my desk. Now, if you look behind me, it's a different story. I have five tables set up in the middle of this area for when I have crafty friends over. Right now, those tables are covered up because I have boxes of things that I'm taking to the retreat. There is all kinds of stuff to do when you're preparing for a retreat. You would not just not believe my checklist. You could tell by the table if you looked at it. Two live videos this year. I have not done those. Had a little complication on that. And um, that's another story. So weekly YouTube video. I've been doing that. And I do try my very best to comment when anybody comments on my videos. Monthly Crafty Goals video. I've been staying right on it. These come out every Tuesday at 6 p.m. And then the Crafty Goals is the first Saturday at 3 p.m. Unannounced giveaways. Yeah, I've done some. Not been very successful. You know, I do them at the end of my video. That's the point. To get people to stay to the end to get your goodies. Well, yeah. Hmm. Not very well. Hmm. Yeah. What can I say? Hmm. I'm keeping my goodies. Get better with media. I've done a few tweaks here and there. I do something different every month. I've been trying. So, yeah, I'm going to give myself a check for that. Quarterly ATC um, swap. Do something quarterly. I've done that. I just told you I did the napkin swap and the broom ride. And I had already done the um, flower, or not, excuse me, not flower, um, fabric with words. So I'm right on track. And I've already signed up for the advent swap which is 25 cards for the month of December. And I think we have to have them to the hostess September, October. Now, retreats. I started off wanting to attend three. Well, I positively have attended two. I've got this one next week. And then I have another one later this month. And then I have another one in October, provided all goes well. This one, I'm pretty sure will happen. This one, not so sure. Excuse me. <coughs> find at least two new YouTubers and subscribe monthly. My YouTubers this month are Jo Beth Sexton's Crafty Cauldron. She does journals and some pretty cool things. And Lisa Douglas does all kinds of crafts and she shows you some goodies that she's gotten. Pretty good channel too. I do this because all of us that are starting off kind of late in the game, it's hard to get noticed. You might get up 10 subscribers and then you lose 10 subscribers. I don't know what's up with that. I don't know if it's the people or the YouTube, but it can drive you nuts if you pay attention to it. So I'm all about trying to help my peers that are trying to get in this game. And this month I want to do Joe Beth and Lisa. So please go check them out, subscribe to them and show them some loving if you would. So that's my two YouTubers. And then watch all the collabs in this collaborative and remember i have this checklist if you would like a copy of it my email is listed below and i'll be glad to do it we've had a few people drop out <coughs> excuse me i got a tickle tonight but um you know by all means check us out we all kind of do different things and none of our videos are really all that long you know showing you what we've accomplished and we're pretty proud that we can get things done you know, I work full-time, gone 12 hours a day. So if I get any crafting done, I'm hitting on something. So I do appreciate you all coming by. And I want to ask you all to be safe, behave, and come back and see me sometime, okay? And I appreciate you all. Bye.